Mine's a real ass stylist at Estelle. <laughs> Shit. I just realised if I cut my hair, I have to keep the same parting forever. Oh my god. Jeez. Air stylist next, you know. Oh, 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 yeah. Cut, cut. What? Are you alright? If you guys need your hair cut, follow me. £4.50, sale, discount. Yo, this is getting really, really bad. Now my Instagram bio, I can put hairstylist and barber. This video is in collaboration with Samba Hair. They sent me a lace frontal and four bundles of 16 inches of Peruvian deep wave hair. I made this wig all by myself and I only ended up using the frontal and two bundles. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Nicole Fia. Before I start, I just want to say my voice is really, 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 really croaky. So please don't pay any attention to my voice. I sound like a man, I sound like a boy. But I needed to do this video today, so yeah, here we are. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I basically created this wig. Minus the making part. Let me know if you guys want me to show you how I create my frontal wigs. Literally, it's so easy. So, so easy. Beginner friendly, 100%. If you guys want to see how I styled this hair, keep watching. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but hopefully this turns out well. The first thing I'm going to do is... Spray the hair so when I cut the hair, girl, it's I don't even know what I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Seriously, let's do it. Let me really just remove this clip. So let's do it. Wow, really? When I wet my curly hair, I just put it in the bath and soak the whole head. I don't have time for this spray nonsense, seriously. Right, let me part it. Okay, come on, Nicole, you can do this. Oh, and by the way, I do not support Arsenal. Arsenal are trash. Watch me get like 1,000 dislikes now. I support my new, but because my hair's um, yellow, I have to wear this, so yeah. I actually don't really support any team, but because I was born in Manchester, I have to go with Manchester United. And Man City, like, who are they? Like, are they even alive? So I always just say that I support my new, but really, I don't support anyone. By the way, I made this with by myself by myself it took me longer than usual i don't know why i think it's because i was tired right so first of all this is actually shedding but me i don't really care about that to be honest because my real hair sheds so wow the floor is going to get super super wet and there is electricals on my phone on the floor oh my god what am i doing oh my god the clippers are wet I feel really, really, really sick. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I feel sick. Perfect. The fuck is that in my hair? Ew. I really, I really wanted to do something different. I don't want to always just have normal curly hair, normal straight hair. So I thought, okay, why don't I try bob on curly hair? Like that's not really done frequently. Yes. Oh. Oof. Oh my god, this is serious. Yes, okay. Come true, real hairline. Can I just say, yeah, the reason why so much hair is coming out on the front all, um, because when I cut off the thread, when I was sewing like my last weft to the front all, I was cutting the hair at the same time. Like, I was so tired, you don't understand. Don't make a wig when you're tired, guys. I'm starting to feel like I don't even want to cut it anymore. Oh. Yo, oh my god. Alright, so right, I'm trying it on now. I haven't cut the the cap underneath yet because I was scared that I don't know what I was scared of but I was just scared all right what's the next step ah the reason why I put the wig on is I want to see where to cut it okay let me put some of this in because I want the curls to stay like this right so because I want the curls to stay like this I'm going to put my curl enhancing smoothie cream oil 
moisture, whatever it is. Oh my god, guys, this hair is so soft. Oh, look, can you see how the curls have changed? They've gone like more um, defined and smaller. Just put this all in the hair. I'm proper thinking if I should still cut it. I'm not sure. Guys, when you do stuff here, yeah, make sure you always get the back. Because you know that bit's crusty. Rubbing up on your neck. <laughs> Shit. I just realised if I cut my hair, I have to keep the same part in forever. Oh my god. No, I can't do this. I'm so indecisive. I don't know if I should have a middle part in or side part in. Oh my god. This is like when you have to pick your nail colour. Seriously, this is so hard. Okay, so I thought about it, yeah, and I'm going to do a middle part in. So that means when I do have a middle part in, it will be straight, but then if I want to flip it over, only this bit won't be level. So it will still be cute because it's curly hair, do you get it? Either way, I don't have a choice, so. I'm just gonna cut it in the middle, end of. So the gel smoothie that I just put in, that defines the curls, but then there's another gel that keeps the curls. Do you get it? Let me attempt to do this. Right, middle part in. I think I'm gonna cut. So first of all, first of all, I'm gonna just cut the back. Oh wait, no, should I start from here? <sighs> Ooh, I'm scared. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if I should pull it. Do I pull it or do I not pull it? Because then if I pull it and it bounces back up, then it's going to be too short. So I'm not going to pull it. Now, Nicole, don't pull it. Come on, you can do this. No, don't pull it. Are you alright? Why is it cutting? Are you actually alright? The fuck? Okay, so you have to hold it a certain way. Like, you have to hold it. You have to hold it up. Okay, maybe not. I mean, you have to hold it down like this. Yeah, you have to hold it like this. Like, okay, that's how barbers do this. Right, right. This is serious, boy. Eh? Okay. Yo, I swear, if you guys need your hair cut, hold me. Four pound fifty sale discount. Yo, this is getting really, really bad. I'm sure I've cut in a slope direction. This is not straight. I think I'm going to comb it. If all the comb would go in, that'd be great. I think I'm going to comb it and then trim it like this. So then it's dead, dead, dead straight. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You know like when they do that in the hair salons? And then they do this. And then they just do this. Oh yeah, you don't know guys. New occupation. Hmm. Boys, if you want your hair cut, if you want a trim, if you want that sexy trim, holler at me. Girls, if you want your wigs done, cut, bob. Yeah, holler at me. Oh no, I need this. Alright, cool. <clears throat> Let's do this. <laughs> what have I done? This is hard. That clearly didn't work. Do you know what? I've had enough. I'm just, just gonna cut it. Oh shit. Nah, it's actually hard to do a blunt cut with curly hair. I should have watched YouTube videos first before I even tried this because I don't know who I thought I was. My voice is actually going. I can't do this, seriously. Alright, am I, am I finished? The back's not short. I need to cut some more. This is not, this is not good. This is, this is not good. Mine's a real air stylist at it still. <laughs> Jeez, air stylist nicks, you know. Oh, 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 yeah. Cut. What? Are you alright? 
I think I'm getting a bit happy with this cutting business. There's going to be no hair left. All right, I think I'm going to try it on. Oh, wait, wait. Let me just cut this bit off. Right, so do I even like this? Do I like it? I don't know if I like it. Is it a blunt cut? I don't even know. This bit seems longer. Should I go shorter? I was never, I was never going to do that. It looks like, it looks like I've done like that slit blob, slit, slit blob. Wow. What's that called? That, that bob that's just like slanted, slanted bob. I don't know what it's called. But that's what it looks like I've done. All right, let me see if I was to put my hair on the side. Oh, I like it. I prefer side still, I can't lie. I prefer side part in with this cut. I like it, guys. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Now my Instagram bio, I can put hairstylist and barber. New occupation. I've cut the lace here. Don't, don't watch that. I'll cut it properly. My voice is actually going, sorry. All right, so I've cut the lace here, guys. And like I said, do not watch that bit. And it's not really going to my skin. It's not really like blending into my skin. So what I'm gonna do is use my tea bag method. So basically guys, I pour water and I put two tea bags in and then I literally just dip, dip the whole frontal in. I should have really done this before I even made the wig, but, and then just dip it in. Ta-da! I think I've done such an amazing job. So let me just speed you guys up from what I just done. Um, I washed the tea out, so I washed it out of the the lace. Yeah, I washed it out of the lace. I also washed the hair as well. I absolutely love it. The curls are still popping, obviously. It's drying up now. Oh, I like this really lot. The curls are still popping. What I done was cut the lace, the front of the lace, a bit more to how I like it. I also cut the lace so my ear can be shown. Yeah, now I'm gonna stick down the hair. We've got to be glue. So first of all, I pull it back a bit. And then what I do is just literally put it on my hairs, just to push my hairs back. And also, I don't ever wear my frontal on my actual hairline. I bring it a bit forward. The good thing about Got To Be is when it comes to night time, you can literally just wash it out and it will come straight out. Now that's dry, I literally go with another layer of Got To Be. And I don't wear um, wig caps. Wig caps? Is it wig caps? No. Stock caps? Stocking? Stocking cap? I don't know what it's called, but you know like the brown caps that people wear underneath? I don't wear them. I don't wear them. Now, I pop. I always start in the middle, always. There's literally no clue here whatsoever. It's popping up. So, go add more. So as you can see, it's still covering my ear. So I think I'm gonna cut it again. Right, so first I part where I wanna cut it. So I think I'm gonna cut this bit off. Then, let you do one snip. Mm. This is what I use now to do my baby hairs. Instead of me using got to be, cause got to be is proper, proper strong, I can just literally use this and it will stick. So when I do my baby hairs, I like it to like swoop into my actual hair, like so. And it smells like watermelon. I want to eat it so bad. I, I, you know when something smells so good, you just want to eat it. Yep. So I think I'm done. Last thing I am going to do is make sure that these curls stay defined. And this is the Sheer Moisture Curling Gel souffle now this is what i used last i can vouch for this product i can vouch for this product and say 
this hair will stay this this curly like the curls will not go it'll be this defined for for days days and days and days so the last thing i'm going to do is literally just cut this little side burn shorter 